Hey guys, BJ from Christie's RV here. Today we're going to go over the 2008 Jayco J Flight 28 RBS. Start up front, you have your large pass through storage, which is accessible from the other side as well and from underneath the bed up front. You have your stabilizer handle here for your stabilizer jacks. You use this to turn and lower the stabilizer jacks to stabilize the trailer. Do not use these to level the trailer. Try to get the trailer as level as possible and then use these just to stabilize it so it doesn't rock and move when you're walking around inside. You have your 12 volt battery up front. You have your dual 30 pound propane tanks with a crossover regulator here. As it is pointing towards this tank so it's going to pull from this tank when this tanks empty it'll automatically point to this one or automatically pull from this one sorry and then you can you see a little indicator if it's full or empty and you can flip it over to the other side and take that bottle off and fill it vice versa however you go you have your manual powered uh, tongue jack sorry Yeah, their access to the pass-through storage. Back here behind the slide, well, start with this, you have your cable for your satellite or cable, that's your input. You have your 30 amp storage plug here. Down below you have your sewage drain. You have gray. Gray water is your sinks and shower. Black is obviously the toilet. Inside the back bumper is your hose. You pull that out, open the cap, clip it on, and then open your valves, allow everything to drain. Okay, around back you have your city water connection. So you garden hose into that use it for uh, running water and you have your outdoor shower with a little handheld hot and cold water a ladder to access the roof if you need to look at anything or fix anything this is your hot water tank both runs on electric or gas the drain plugs right here before removing the drain plug make sure you release the pressure using the pressure release valve or opening up one of the taps inside the trailer don't put nothing in front of this as well, it gets hot. So this is your exhaust here, you don't want anything in front of it, leaving room for that. Same thing here, this is your fridge vent, and this is the exhaust for the furnace. This gets really hot, you don't want nothing in front of that, and this needs proper airflow for the fridge to work properly, so you don't want to block that either. So you want to keep those areas free and clear of anything. And here is your potable water. You fill that up so you can take water with you wherever you go. Then you use the 12 volt water pump to create pressure. Here's your stove, your vent for your stove, which is your overhead fan. There's just little storage tabs and then it'll flap like it normally does. And then the little tabs you close while you're traveling. Just like that. And your stairs. And we'll go inside. First off, you have your switches here for your slide out and your awning. Your awning extends, power awning, and your tracks. And then you have your slide out. Slide out's all the way out right now. I'll bring it in a little bit. When you push it out, you'll hear a clicking sound. That means it's at its full extent. So you wanna make sure the slide's either all the way out or all the way in for it to make a seal so you don't have air and water and anything getting in. You also have two light switches, one's for the outdoor light and one's for the inside lights. You also have your little monitoring panel here, so your battery, your fresh water, black water, gray water. You have your water pump switch. 
and then you have your two water heaters so you can have it on electric or gas so if you want to run it off the propane turn it on it'll ignite or you can run it off the electric if you have the trailer plugged in up front your TV you can have your DVD radio and uh, it also has an auxiliary input for you which has speakers for that you have your thermostat here you can select cool or just have fan on or heat and then you also have for your fan speed you can leave it on auto for high or low which is its own thing or if you want just the fan on and you want it on high just to circulate the air you can do that as well up front is your master bedroom Light up there, you have two other lights above the bed. And this is where you can have some more storage. And again, you can access that pass-through storage in the front. Emergency exit there. Just simply lift up on the red handle, pull towards you and push out. And lots of storage up front. This is your pull-out couch, just like at home actually. Just pull the cushions off and then fold your bed out. Another emergency exit here. Just flip the red tabs up and push out on the window. Allows you to get out. These lights here have a switch. Same with the wall sconce, a little switch on the side. check that oh, we have your sink more storage under here below there is your see the two little black tabs you pull those up to drain the water lines in the trailer that's your low point drains the water pump is located on the back side of this you gotta pull this drawer out and it's located down there just below that stove your oven that's your all your AC breakers your DC fuses so if something's not working come check here first stove just lift up and that folds back like that and then for the stove you just turn it to light and turn the igniter and that'll light the stove same thing with the oven turn the oven to pilot push and hold and then just simply put your lighter back here and you can light the pilot light in the back you have your hood fan and light and your microwave just like at home Large fridge and freezer. So the fridge, you can set it to auto, which operate off electric. And if electricity is not available, then it'll automatically switch to gas. Or you can just set it to gas itself and it'll light. If this light starts flashing, the orange one, that means there's no gas or it didn't light. So just shut it off. Check the propane, make sure it's turned on, and then switch it back. Lots of storage. Have your bathroom light switch here. Down here is the access to the hot water tank. You have your valves to shut the water tank off if you're uh, when you're ready to winterize and stuff. Corner shower, hot, cold, and then a little handheld for that. And here, fan, light, 
your toilet. You just push on a little valve there to flush. There's a pocket door here. A lot more storage there. And that's pretty much everything. Congratulations on the new trailer. Hope you enjoy it. Have a great day.